Yes, it's the same box. Yes, there's still books. Thank you, Sasami Chan. I'm having so much fun with this. And I promise eventually I will grab something that's not a golden book. But today's not that day. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Sasami Chan, you've been waiting for this one. <laughs> There's a monster at the end of this book. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Da 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 da! The day is finally here. Yes, Sasami Chan, we finally pulled it from the box. The monster at the end of this book, starring lovable furry old Grover. It is me, Grover. Yeah, I tried watching some Grover clips. I don't think my Grover voice is going to hold up. Yeah, and I can barely do one myself. I'm like, Cookie Monster. <laughs> so this is The Monster at the End of This Book, written by John Stone, illustrated by Mike Smolin, featuring Grover, a Jim Henson Muppet, as performed on Sesame Street by Frank Oz. Sweet puppeteer credit. Nice. I wonder if he also did the voice work. Well, it says as performed. Mm. The puppeteer is usually also the voice actor, at least with hints and Muppets. And I believe he's a pretty famous one, too. I think mm. he did a lot of their work. And the story starts on the cover page. This is a very dull page. What is on the next page? What did that say? On the first page. What did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did! Oh, I am so scared of monsters. <laughs> Very nice illustrations. Very, um, it's like they painted in the flat color first and then just kind of skipped lines over it to give the feel of hair. And then they put in the details of the mouth and the eyes and nose. Very nice style. Shh! Listen. I have an idea. If you do not turn any pages, we will never get to the end of the book. And that is good, because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please do not turn the page. <laughs> and the end. <laughs> that would be cute if that was the end. And look at him, he's all laying on the ground with his finger like, shh. I love Sesame Street. Sorry, Grover. You turned the page! Thank you for spiking all the microphones. <laughs> and he has his hand over his forehead in that classic, oh my god, fashion. And I'm sorry, with that text illustrated in that manner, I could not help but spike the mic. I'll fix it in post. Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book, and there is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning the pages. See? I am tying the pages together, so you cannot... <laughs> nice use. The art's very consistent, very fun, and Grover has his arms kind of stretched across him, and he has a bunch of rope tying the pages. You turned another page! Look at all the stars coming out of his mouth. It's awesome. You do not know what you are doing to me. Now, stop turning pages. God, it's so interactive. It's great. Oh, it's like the one with Oscar that we read a while back. Mmm. Oh, yeah, it's just like that one. <coughs> there. I, Grover, am nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it and we will never get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Not to spoil anything, but I think I know who the monster is. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> look at all the rulers, pieces of wood. Is he actually measuring or is he just going to use that wooden ruler to help nail the page shut? All right, all right, all right. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. <laughs> yeah, because they have the pages illustrated being ripped and stuff like that. And I didn't notice, I kind of noticed, but they actually have edges of pages on every page. And it's layering more and more as you go through. 
to give the effect of you turning the pages. It's really nice. Oh. This will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. <laughs> he should just build himself a box. Oh, the pages are getting worse and worse condition, and Grover is covered partially in... I wouldn't... It wouldn't be cement. It would be mortar, I believe, is the correct term for the stuff that goes between bricks. Yeah, you know, therefore the phrase brick and mortar store. Hmm. Do you know that you are very strong? <laughs> uh, it doesn't help that I was primed by watching grower videos before this. Oh, just look at that. That's awesome. I mean, look. <laughs> all the damage to the... <laughs> All the damage to the page and mortar everywhere. Grover's hand sticking out of the pile of bricks. <laughs> you can see the wood from the... Oh, wow. You can see the rope. And you can see stuff from previous pages. It's great. Yes, it's all layering up. The next page is the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so scared. Please do not turn the page. Please, please, please. I must say, Pinkie Pie should do a book like this. That would be neat. Well, look at that. This is the end of the book, and the only one here is me. I, lovable furry old Grover, am the monster at the end of this book. And you were so scared. I told you and told you there was nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> And you can barely see the words the end in yellow. I think they're faded. Unlike Grover, who's a nice bright blue. Yeah, he's hugging himself, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, just look at all the hearts and valentines around the... Me! Just, it's me, Grover! Just look all the damage. Across all the pages, I know. It's awesome. This is a very well done book. And then one final page. Oh, I am so embarrassed. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. The librarian's going to have a word with you about the condition that you put this book in, Grover. I, I'm guessing he's embarrassed because he actually wasn't saying, don't be afraid. Well, it's like how you need to go to the teeth checker and eat crunchy food like bananas and use the tooth comb. Yeah, and remember the people who send the singing and dancing telegrams? And remember people's orders when you take them as a waiter. We didn't watch that one. Not recently. Actually, I think technically the cover of the book starts the story. Because he says, hello, everybody, right on the cover. And then you open it up, and it really starts right there, because it's the inner cover page. And he's like, this is very dull. What's on the next page? So see, he starts it. He starts turning the pages, and then he yells at us for continuing to turn the pages. Yeah, well, he remembered what he read on that poster. That's why he says, what did that say? So scared of monsters. But you are a monster. You call yourself a monster in the end of the book. This was really fun. I don't think I owned this one, but I'm pretty sure I've read it. Because the... Grover one I had was the Grover alphabet. Haven't come across it yet. Sorry, Sasami-chan. So, how did you know this is a book that he was particularly looking forward to? Have you read Sasami-chan's comments? I vaguely remember something about this, yes. Way before Sasami-chan sent us books, he mentioned this book, and he was saying that he hoped the book we were talking about was this book. Yeah. And now this book was in our box of books to read. And he specifically said there were two books that he couldn't wait for us to get to. So I knew this was one of them. The real question is, what's the other one? Dun, dun, dun. And this has been Ember's Reading Room with The Monster at the End of This Book, starring lovable furry old Grover, written by John Stone, illustrated by Mike Smolin. Featuring Grover, a Jim Henson Muppet, as performed on Sesame Street by Frank Oz. Mm. 16th printing, 1979. Wow. 
Well, come on, the, the Muppets, they have staying power. 1969. 79. Oh, 79. I was going to say if it was 69, it would match the price. Yeah, 69 cents. So you can tell this is a newer book because the price is higher. Uh, once again, thanks for listening, Sasami Chan. Thanks for sending. I was very excited when we pulled this one out of the box, in case you couldn't tell from the intro video. <laughs>